Tapped in exclusive. We are the internet, yeah, bitch. Fuck Tapped in podcast. Man. We're joined today by Lil Easy. Yes, sir. And we got a special guest, Fats. Um, so, thank you so much for tapping in with us, man. You already know, bro. We appreciate, appreciate it. For having you, for sure. Yeah, we've actually wanted uh, a Lil Easy interview for a while. Like everybody's been telling us to fucking get you on the show. Our producer has been fucking wanting you on the show, so it's like yeah, I'm mad I got to y'all so late. <laughs> no, it's all good. Fuck, it's yeah. great. Now we get to like reflect on what you've done, reflect on what you're gonna do, you know, all that shit. So yes, sir. That's amazing, man. Um, so I think like the best place to start is kind of like originally where you're from, because I know you're from Chicago, right? Yeah. So like, describe exactly where I'm from. All over, not I don't want to say all over, but all over the south side of Chicago. I started like 95th and Stony Island, like right before you get to like the hundreds. And then I moved to Homewood with my mom. That's like way south, 183rd. So I just came from 95th, so 183rd, that's way south. Right. Then I moved with my boy uh, to Riverdale. That was like, I was 16, 17, something like that. Damn. Then after that, we were traveling BNB, BNB, BNB. Just nonstop. Nonstop. And then I was about to go to, uh, I had just graduated. I was about to go to college and then flew out here and i moved out here okay after you graduated high school yeah as soon as i graduated that same summer i moved out here fuck what, what are you gonna say well i said was you like playing sports or anything playing ball something like you was in school my school was a big ass school like we had two buildings three thousand kids oh yeah that's a so big like, school the chances of uh getting on the team and shit <laughs> not the same chances you're gonna get anywhere else <laughs> no. like, i kind of gave up my basketball dream early and I gave it up because I still play basketball now like I fuck with basketball heavy I yeah I bust any of y'all ass but <laughs> yeah so you still hoop and shit but yeah, yeah. Sure. but I kind of chilled out <laughs> fats with early you. use of the cap button <laughs> yeah, I kind of chilled out like my junior year it started really rapping I was getting in the studio yeah. every day my homie uh Dan who he ain't make it but I used to go to his crib like he had an in uh, um in home studio i used to go to his crib every day after school i used to write my music in school and then go wow. to his crib after school for like three hours holy record, shit. like three songs and then go home that was my schedule junior year scene that's fucking dedication so, so at that time you kind of was like hoop shit like you know because you know when you're a young nigga you're thinking about way you know you may not be thinking but you think about how you gonna get paid right yeah, so right you like more you know what's my shit so that's why you was like oh shit i could take this i'm gonna do this rap shit and i'm gonna take it seriously exactly what made you take it seriously who was like niggas was fucking with it obviously or you just had that crazy belief in yourself on some kanye shit it was that and it was my homies too like once i started my homies like yeah you gotta do this shit like yo my bad for this shit we just gotta make sure this shit's like the bottom half yeah like yeah make sure that's like yeah there you go yeah all right so your homies is like (laughs) still cricket there you go you had the belief in yourself and then you told yeah me. you can scoot into that shit there. yeah so you told niggas yeah i was um uh, my homies was just telling me like bro you got to keep doing this shit. and then uh rp my homie damo but i had showed him my music like when i first had metal he was like look bro like i'm telling you right now you're gonna go far with this shit. you like, got something yeah yeah i didn't even know him so like and that's was, junior year yeah yeah so like just off the strength of him saying that and he fucking with my homies and shit, he was like a big homie to us. So like just off him saying that, like that boosted my confidence way up. I started and fucking, really going in with this shit, like hundred percent. That's really what it was. Yeah, I mean that's that's important because we've talked to people like that fucking made music. Like they currently make music, they fucking made it and shit, mm-hmm. but they had people telling them no. Like I've talked to people like they had fucking they didn't have yes men, they didn't have people that approved. They told them yeah. they sucked. Nah, my people. So that's like, crazy to get the cosign. My parents and shit, they wasn't really that fond of idea. They wasn't into it. Yeah. Hell nah. They, they wasn't feeling that shit. Nah. They wanted college, right? That's yeah, what exactly. They yeah. And I wasn't I wasn't mad about going to college, but I was still gonna pursue music and shit like that. But regardless, yeah. Yeah. They if they, you were in a fucking dorm room, you'd still be making music. Hell yeah. <laughs> like Hell yeah. <laughs> I love this shit too that's much. Pretty, that's pretty fire to just kind of have that belief in yourself and to be going hard at that age. You know what I'm saying? That's like You know what I'm saying? And I don't know what exactly your background was, right? You know, everybody got their own struggles and what they go through and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But for you to have that dedication that so early, nigga, that's fire. You feel me? Yeah, I I wasn't like, my parents weren't giving me no handouts. Like, don't get me wrong, we ain't live like. Toe up, but. Yeah, toe up, but they wasn't, it wasn't like, 
yeah, I'm finna give you this fifty dollars, hundred dollars, twenty dollars. I wasn't getting none of that shit. I wasn't. Yeah, no. I ain't get no the, money in my you, pocket. You get the necessity. <laughs> exactly. They made me work clothes for myself. Clothes on the back. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, nah, bam, shit, buy my own damn clothes. Shit. Yeah. Hey. No, they make sure you had a warm meal. Yeah, like. yeah, exactly. But I was just yeah. out here getting it, bro. Just finding any way to get some money to put into the studio. That was really it. Yeah. Because yeah. I was gonna ask you. You know, we can't speak on everything, but I was gonna say, like, how was you getting money to pay for, like, you know, your home, you had the in home studio, but outside of that, like, beats, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's no, expensive, man. You selling weed. Yeah. Mandatory. That's literally all I was on. I was selling weed, selling weed at school and shit. Come up off like $150, $200, get that shit to my boy. Yeah. And I lock in for like a week. That's the greatest hustle when you're in school. Exactly. Like, truly. It's the easiest shit. Pull up you at the party. School, everybody wanna get high. You got clientele as far as the fucking eye can see. You know what I'm saying? And I told you I went to a school with three thousand kids. It ain't hard to find somebody who wants some weed. Everybody, you can. That's quick money. That and then hard. that wasn't too many years ago. So like back in the day when I had weed, nigga, when I had the pounds, nigga, I had to be like, you feel? Me? You know, yeah. back in the day, like you know, now everybody smokes. So nigga, exactly. like everybody <laughs> smokes exactly. and it's fucking legal in most places. Yeah, it's legal it's crazy. Now, kinda. Damn. They say it's legal, but. You know, is yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not they legal to the legal, police. You can, it's legal, but it's a, it's like a like a back trip to it. Like you gotta have like the card type shit. Oh, that makes sense. Calif- California that was used like to be that. on that type time. Yeah. California was like that. Like if it ain't medical, you ain't got cataracts. That's, they all, yeah, they ain't that's trying to hear it. They taking that shit. So I have a question, right? So I've been to Chicago a bunch of times, right? And I always see Lake Shore. Where's mm-hmm. that Lakeshore? Yeah, over there where I hear the white niggas jumping in the water in the middle of the <laughs> night. It's nice as fuck I mean, over there, right? I ain't Viagra gonna lie. Triangle, where the Bentley dealership is at. Yeah, I ain't is, gonna is lie. it is it how is it how niggas say it is? It's nice as, it's, but it's like nice as hell. I'm talking about the other side. Uh, you ain't supposed to go to you feel me the lake. You say ain't supposed right, to go to the lake the nine, ten o'clock, eleven o'clock. That's when you see the crazy shit, like. <laughs> You ain't supposed. You supposed to go normal hours. Motherfuckers out there just chilling, folks. But yeah, all I'm that just, extra shit that'd be at night. No, I'm talking mm-hmm. about like all right. So the other side of Chicago, like what area? So once I'm at Lake, how far do I need to go? Once I'm like in the hood, what they consider oh, the hood? Oh, okay. Is it? But, I, but what I'm saying, that, <laughs> he's like, let me out. think. What I'm saying is like I'm asking because everybody say like shy rack, right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And my interpretation of Chicago is white people in car service and nice buildings and nice restaurants and shit and Harold chicken is that you feel me that was a fast it don't matter where you at you may think it's nice but it ain't ain't nice it just look nice like i'm not gonna say i'm not gonna sit here and say every part of chicago bad because it's not it's hella good ass areas but yeah it ain't hard to get to the hood like it's a hood everywhere everywhere I remember I was at Gerald Donald's, the little pizza spot, mm-hmm. kicking it, getting the little. Oh, is that crazy? No, uh, yeah. Mm. No Interesting. So yeah. Anyway, so but pretty much it is. So in other words, y'all saying the shit it is how it is. Yeah. Like sh- nigga, it's it's crazy. what you think. It's Tricock Central. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna lie. The land right now is definitely booted up with SRTs and strikers and shit. That's that that's the that's the vibe I'm getting from Chicago. It's like to the point where like that's what the police looking for at this point. They're like, just looking yeah, for that y'all car. Y'all telling y'all self getting next shit. Facts. That's another reason so why don't, you don't cop drive that, that car. That's why another don't reason. Cop, it's like, a fucking magnet, right? Don't don't like, get pulled. Don't get ganked in that shit. Especially if you're doing shit. That will get your ass. You gotta bro. drive a fucking untinted civic chicago <laughs> yeah, right. if you're fucking doing shit it right? ain't sweet out though so, right all right so let's move on right so you making the music you dedicate it right yeah walk us to the journey of how all this shit happened uh i met my manager uh just dm him on instagram my homie was actually looking for a manager and I, I don't know i just so happened to like ask him like who was that that you was tapping in with yeah and he told me i dm'd him and shit. he was like bro your shit fire we we definitely gotta lock in he's like i got a plan bro we just went through with the plan he told me drop a freestyle i dropped a freestyle that shit went crazy that was the only come up i was like i didn't expect for it to blow up how it did but when it blew up i was like okay yeah now it's, it it's blew that the time. Fuck up. yeah, it's yeah. That time. um after that i moved to la um, I got signed by Atlantic. Just off the strength of that, Just right? Off the strength of that, yeah. Fucking incredible. I mean, got signed off a of freestyle. I mean, it's not. It, 
not anyone nobody can just do that you know what i'm saying that's like a fucking that's a talented move you know what i'm saying like that's incredible so but after that let's let that be i have a question hold on what'd your parents think about it then (laughs) they was like this you gonna do do it i'm like nigga you going to the studio today i am (laughs) nigga start you going to the studio today exactly i'm gonna drop you off when the last time you went yeah Yeah, you better be in there every day exactly (laughs) now they was pushing me though it was yeah. just telling me like if this is what you're gonna do go 100 percent on it don't bullshit it like you yeah in it, you in it now so like it ain't no going back yeah so, yeah that's why I, I just be going 100 for them yeah but after that though um i had dropped my first ep it was like november of 2020. Mm-hmm. Yep. during COVID and shit. yeah yeah um next year i had what's the name drop rookie of the year april the album yep shout out no, that was a mixtape, actually. It's it's not the album? I still ain't dropped the album yet. You did that as a mixtape? Yep. Holy shit. I thought that was, I mean, it sounds like an album. I appreciate it. So you did a good job. I appreciate it. No, that was a mixtape. I, thought, I, I swear to God. Album. I was listening to that shit today. I was like, damn, this is a great first album. That's for fucking sure. crazy. No, I appreciate that. I can't sure. even believe that. So let it be known that's a mixtape. Well, Definitely. <laughs> Every if we speaking about songs, activated is my shit. I was a smart little nigga. I used to study computers. <laughs> feel me? Like That's you got the, too, I bro. got the, I, I had to log in. I had to clear you out. Hell feel yeah, me? Make that shit in LA. It was probably like my first few months in LA. I was feeling myself. Nigga, good. You was activated. <laughs> I was. Activated. He was activated. Sure. Great title. And like I don't really be. I ain't gonna cap. Sometimes I don't be really listening to nigga shit, right? But I started slapping this. Even my wife was like, what's that? <laughs> like, and my wife, a white lady, so she was like, what's this right here? We Shout like, out to her. Yeah, sure. I was like, what is this? And then, all right, so I want to talk about on the come up, right? <laughs> so on the come up pops off, right? You're like, I didn't even expect the blow. How did the whole Her- Herbo collab come together? Well, like I, I, <laughs> yeah. I always said, like before I even got signed, I was, um, the little slight interviews I did have, I always said like Herbo, that was somebody i really looked up to and this shit like that's probably who made me start rapping for real for real like he was just a big inspiration so long and cool guy out here for sure and then i told my uh my a and r he was like fuck it we're gonna get it done and yeah we just tapped in like that he seen i was from the rack tapped in with me video shoot went crazy that shit was that's just that's one of hell. my favorite videos that shit dude. is fun as fuck that is such a yeah. fucking good yeah. video dude yeah it was really the good. mouth it's part amazing. really sticks out when they have the little mouth shit right mm-hmm. there the umbrella on fire and shit that's yeah. crazy that's Shout pretty crazy no more heroes they go crazy so good god damn but yeah that, that's that's really it bro and then uh i didn't even know it went gold <laughs> shit went gold i didn't know it went gold Nobody how really did you find me. out I, I had a show in chicago and they brought my plaque out on stage you're kidding oh, that's me. Fire. yeah in front of your in hometown. hometown on some Kanye shit come on explain fire. that fucking feeling to the losers that shit was that just crazy watched. my a&r kept it a secret i see why though but can you turn the ac on yeah bro that's sh- that shit was just crazy i was performing i think i was on my last song i was about to go and then, and yeah, then he, he just surprised you that shit just felt good bro. so it know. caught you off guard yeah that shit you must have been like oh, that shit threw shit. me off i ain't gonna lie that's i ain't know crazy. what the fuck to do but yeah that shit that shit was that's just a blessing bro but, i ain't gonna lie okay so to talk about that a little bit right because i always think about um you know doing numbers and doing plaques and shit like that it's hard to get a gold record like that within <laughs> itself is like you feel These me days? and For then sure. like coming off of your first shit like man props my nigga. Uh, you feel me yeah bro, 100%. the hard work is uh showing itself my bad buddy i mean step your shoe but it's yeah man like, shit to come. yeah there you go <laughs> so sure. let's talk about it so what else you been working hell yeah i've been locked in with chop squad for the, like the last few months we got a tape coming out damn Not too easy mm. that shit dropped in <laughs> april so damn. can we talk about who's on there if you can if you can't i understand i ain't, gonna lie, ain't nobody on there oh just you going crazy hey, oh that's even better i, I like wanting to give the people a lot of me before i like really tap in with the features yeah so i feel like they ain't got enough of me yet mm. they only got one side of me I fucking go. love that. I'm getting older. I just want to talk about all the shit that I didn't seen for all the shit that I didn't did. Yeah, I feel like I still got shit to talk about. Like, definitely. Yeah. We, to be honest with you, I don't want to feel any type of way. No disrespect, but I'm like, can we get some more shit? Like, you feel me? That's what I was looking bro, for. I've more been shit. trying to drop, bro, for so long. I was looking for some more shit. I'm like, I was supposed to it? drop. I was supposed to drop the summer right after Rookie of the Year. Yeah, but, but some, you know, yeah, some shit got fucked up. 
It happens. Technical difficulties, yeah. All that yeah, it's shit. part of the game. But I just wanted to make sure when I do drop some shit, it's going to be fucking crazy. Like, yeah. It's not going to be nothing. People could just look over, like, oh, that nigga back. Yeah. Well, right. it looks, well, I don't think you went anywhere, but um, it just, it feel from from sitting here from across, so you feel like you got some shit in the back. You're like, nigga, I got the blower on me right oh, now. For real. <laughs> don't fuck with the gas back, <laughs> man. <laughs> nah, so, I'm excited, bro. I'm not going to lie. Me and Chop Squad worked hard on this shit. Yeah. yeah, we've been locked in. That's I gotta goal. fucking hear this shit. How, how'd you link up with? Is it? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm Chop Squad. Can you inform who Chop Squad? Producer. Just one yeah. person or two? One person. Okay, so Chop Got Squad. A lot of dirt. Um, Keith shit coming up. Okay, yeah. I'm sure I heard it. I just don't. I, I'm not. Yeah, like majority mad. of Vaughn shit. Okay. Real big producer. So you about to go? You, you y'all locked in? How'd y'all link up? Or y'all knew each other from home? No. Nah, um, my a and R got me in the studio with him, but he was telling me when he got there, like he was already fucking with my shit. Mm. So once he sent, like we locked in for that session and we made the song that we made that first session about to drop March 10th. Oh, right down he the did. street. Damn, but that's fucking soon. Yeah. After we made that shit, we was like, fuck it, we finna lock in. I told him that um, I ain't dropped, you feel me, as much music as I wanted to. He was like, fuck it, we finna do this tape. Yeah, we locked in on that shit. Did that shit in about two months. Yeah. Perfected it. We ready to drop that shit. Damn. I was going to ask you, like, who are some of the people that you listen to coming up, man? Like, who are some of your influences? Coming up? I ain't going to lie, it was a lot of Chicago. So it's just like, again, yeah, G Herbo. Dirt, Keith, fucking Kanye. But I started branching off. Like, I fuck with uh, New York scene. Like, I was big on uh, Fabio. Yeah, Bobby, uh, he be giving me that energy. There's something about fire. Hell yeah! <laughs> New York recently been turning me up. Um, yeah, I've been fucking, fucking with lit. Busy. Did yeah. a song with Busy on my last tape, but I, I I've been fucking with Busy. Free my boy. Um, yeah, that was on the last. Uh, well, what I thought was an album. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's crazy. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it, bro. A lot of Chicago. Like I was locked in on that shit. It yeah. took me a minute to branch off from Chicago. Off the Chicago yeah, shit. Yeah, like that's yeah, I fucked with that shit heavy, bro. How like how important is it do you think for like artists in general to like listen to a variety of shit? I think it's important especially if like if you're going to take this music shit for real like you don't want to stay with the same sound. I feel right. like like it's cool like I want like develop your sound of course right but I feel like you got to be able to eventually branch off from that so right. if you're not branched off with a whole bunch of different artists I don't know how you're gonna right let me switch it up you ain't heard enough music exactly yeah it gives you that like perspective exactly as far as the the sound and shit don't take out the top 10 wheel man yep let's go right. spin the wheel boom we got this little segment of the show called the tap in wheel we're gonna have you spin this thing say let's here you go present that shit to him boom this the legendary wheel my bad. Let's do it. So you get three spins. All right. Let's see what happens. All ready right now? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Give him a better spin. Come on. He, that was nah, his I spin. Want, I wanted that spin. It okay. was a finesse. What's Would that? you rather? Would you rather? All right. Uh, <laughs> this is crazy, all right? I'm, <laughs> I'm going to warn you. <laughs> it's some white people shit. <laughs> no, it's not white people because this man created this question. Oh. <laughs> would you rather no this man oh what? <laughs> all right would you rather lose your eyesight or lose your dick oh wow he put that on me eyesight 100 percent, right 100 percent. no questions asked no questions you asked. just gotta go with the ray charles and feel you're the cool heart. for real exactly for real 100 percent. all right spin the wheel again. that was easy it's a no-brainer that was a layup cap or no cap oh he's yeah. gotta get ready to hit the button let's he's, see what happens we're gonna put something on the screen. Oh, uh, what? And you tell us. What is that? All right, Joe Biden is a reptile. Cap or no cap? <laughs> Damn, <laughs> he's going cap. That man, that man, stressed <laughs> out. Putin putting. Are that you man cap in or no cap? Light. I'm cap. All right, you think it's cap? All, All right, right, Joe so Biden is not a reptile. No. All right, take spin it off. It. Give him another spin. And with the the, the yeah, good one. The so. M3, the M3 that was spin. A good spin. No, you gotta spin it. Spin it again. What do you get? He got. Would you rather? Oh. <laughs> we have another one. <laughs> that was a good spin too. Being blind will keep you from having a phone. Uh, shit grub. Uh, not actual shit, but we got some. All right, like so we got snacks. snacks. And you're gonna tell us if it's gas or trash. 
It's not. A, it's not known. Nice. What is this? What is this? <laughs> Yo, that's a cereal. Yes. All right. Just read the name. <laughs> Wendy's Frosted Frosty Chocolatey Cereal. Wow. I'm gonna say this shit is ass. <laughs> Damn. I don't like chocolate cereal for one. Yeah. Oh wow. wow! So we're going trash. Box throwing me off like it don't hold look on, appealing. Hold on, hold on. We got something. Well, else yeah. For- I mean, they branded with Wendy's. Yeah. Why hey, the it, fuck would that yeah, be? It, yeah. <laughs> all right. This. All right. This more my speed. All right. What What do you got here? Birthday cake Oreos. Confetti. Chocolate confetti. Jesus. That shit. Okay. So you can try it. And you tell us if it's gas yeah, or trash. Yeah, I was gonna say I need to try it. No, and it's yours. You can take it with I'll you. Say yeah, fresh. So you just I, tell I, us. Open. Fresh seal. No you goods. The seal was not on. Not on this show. An extra, an extra one. We got seals over here. You feel me? Right, I want sprinkles on it. We gotta know from both fats and you. This is either trash or gas. So let's see. They got water too, if you know. <laughs> Shit, gas. Gas. Boom. All right, cool. Pass so he's going gas. All right, fats. What about you? <laughs> Damn. So it's trash. It's your gas. I ain't gonna lie. Can you say like, I don't even like confidently it's shit. trash? Nah, confidently yeah, cause like this, the chocolate throwing me off. Bro. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. The chocolate cream in the middle, like that's throwing me off. Oh, it's chocolate in the middle? Yeah, like look, like, it's both. It's at the bottom. Oh shit! So it's that's like throwing me off. Chocolate on the bottom and then the like vanilla yeah. on the top. Yeah. Shit. I ain't gonna shit throwing me off, but it's decent. It's crazy. So it's medium. All right, so it's That's like it's gas and then it's trash. Like I could take that. It's fifty fifty. That's a good one. Okay. So I had another question for you. So like, you said early on, your parents obviously were like pushing college and shit. Mm-hmm. So hypothetically, if you went to college, what the what would you study? Like, what is like Lil Easy's subject of choice? I ain't gonna lie. When I was about to go to college, I didn't know what the hell I was gonna study. But yeah, thinking about right now, it'd probably be entrepreneurship like business yeah or um engineering engineering you like to build shit yeah what you like i like to build shit too what's your what you like work on like bikes or something i ain't never tried it but i'm just saying like i just feel like that'd be a field that i that'd be interesting to me yeah yeah that makes sense my dad pushed that shit too but what that's another thing is like what do they do like do they do like did you have any relatives that do music and shit like my, or was uh, it just you? My uncle, my uncle played piano. Damn. Um, like just grand piano. Mm-hmm. Wow. I think that's that's it. If I was gonna do college, I would have probably I'll go be a lawyer because lawyers be getting <laughs> they fucking money on everything. They just be getting yeah, their money they, on some, some that's studying somebody file and all that extra shit. I'm, I'm talking about like yeah. entertainment law. Just oh, be okay. like one of them niggas who get yeah, paid so, off of every off contracts. Contract. Yeah. <laughs> Like anytime you move, not doing shit. shit. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. I gotta look at that. They're like, so yeah, gotta, this good. Sure. <laughs> they don't care. If yeah. I was gonna do that, they just take the lawyer fee. route. I definitely go entertainment lawyer. <laughs> well, you know, I'm trying to get paid off of niggas. You feel me? And they be like, oh, I need they fee. They need it's that. actually fucked up. It's. I think it's really criminal how complex they make contracts. You know what I'm saying? Like Bro, they I make it where. Lie. You need to have like, oh, you need three lawyers. Like we, we have to have it examined. Like if somebody's making you, you take an offer, days to dissect contracts. Isn't that crazy? Like it's designed and put it into lamest to terms. Fuck you. It's like lamest terms are uh, like I need you to explain this. But like. I mean, shit, they give you everything though. <laughs> yeah, shit, right. you better read it. You better read they the do. whole thing. Yeah, exactly. It's important, man. Yeah, it's yeah. fucking crazy. Yeah, exactly. So as far as projects on the way, too easy, too right? easy. Coming in April, single coming March tenth, and I think this is dropping at the same time, right? We're or lining, we'll be we, dropping this episode around, around the same so time, so we can promote this shit. Say less. What do we drop in since it'll be out? Mm-hmm. What's the song called? Forever been stabbing. There you go. So make sure you fucking tap in and cop that. Are you gonna sure. make a video for any of that shit? I already, I already made the video. I'm ready to drop that shit. Are you gonna drop it with the song? Yep. Fuck. So make sure you watch the video. This man just got shit. In he's the got this shit on. He got deck. the blower on him. Said it. I said it. Man. He's got the heat. Prepping for this shit, man. It's crazy. You must be fucking excited to drop. Um, I'm not gonna lie. Um, it's been a minute, and my fans are on my ass. Of I, course. I can't wait to get them this shit. You can't blame them, man. I can't. But they're gonna, <laughs> they, it's gonna be worth the wait. 
Uh, there you go. Exactly. It's I, worth the wait. I think I read a tweet today. I don't know if this is a direct, you know, quote. It said, if you care more, you prepare more. And I think Dame Dash said that shit. Facts. So, so I think he's well, prepared. Well, I think quantity over quality. I mean, quality over quantity. That too. You know what I'm saying? Like, you'd rather have, like, exactly. a good body of work for sure and i still like, like i was still dropping shit on youtube like you feel me music videos and, and shit and yeah no nah, i was dropping songs on youtube whole just, songs yeah just shooting music videos and shit just so people got shit you feel me until i drop i probably dropped, so you like, fed three. them man yeah okay, the fuck like, like you, how much <laughs> do you I want from it i try <laughs> niggas want home shit. kendrick kendrick Doc is, drops now i'm like every bro, 10 try, years bro. come on somebody said to you i was like whoa Nah. I'm not gonna lie, I'm thinking about dropping an, another mixtape this year, though. You should. On it's top of this one. You should. What about like performing and shit? Like, have you been able to like perform a lot? Yeah, I went to uh, Rolling Loud, New York, and Miami. How mm. the fuck was that? That shit was lit. Lit. That, okay, what was more lit, though? Was Miami. New York more or Miami more? Miami. Miami. <laughs> Miami said spot. that with no hesitation. Every, when you get bread, the first thing you want to do, <laughs> I want to move to Miami. I want to hang out there for like a summer. Like you feel me? Like a ride summer, the jet skis, maybe. I don't know. About ride the jet months. skis, motherfucking all motherfucking day. I it was it. easier Play. to maneuver through the New York rolling loud. Miami was hectic as fuck. Just man. like yeah, bro, it took like, me like an hour to get in. I was almost late. I was almost late to both. Really? Yeah, bro. Security be fucking. Wow. Me, so, was security worse at Miami? Like yeah. harsher? Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's weird. I fucking because they got a lot of police. I dropped there. a glass bottle, and because of that, the dude didn't want to let me in. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> and you were performing. Yeah. If you're watching this, fuck you, nigga. Damn. There you go. I was telling him like, bro, I'm about to perform in 30 minutes. He's like, bro, I don't give a fuck. I'm like, okay. what? <laughs> yeah, they had people come get me and shit. This shit was lame as fuck. Yeah, honestly. Yo, that's insane. People be taking their job way too seriously, right? Especially that serious. job. What the fuck, like? Was it security? But I guess you see. Nah, he was like head of security, like the one nigga in the suit. Oh God, he's a dickhead. That's so. I feel like it's more more likely for that shit to go down in New York than it is in Miami's. Like New York was smooth getting in and out. That's so fucking crazy. Cause it be niggas that you know, like at the security, (laughs) and they be like niggas that just be giving you the head now, like cool niggas be letting you in, like. Uh, yeah. And when you get to Miami, it'd be a bunch of police ass niggas and all that. Like, crazy. You feel me? Like, it's different when you're moving through the back. You know what I'm talking about. And then now, they about to just take this shit totally different because niggas been getting killed and all that shit at yeah, the yeah. festivals and shit. Like, oh damn, it's no be blowers, worse. no extra niggas. You probably ain't gonna have no <laughs> weed on you. It's about to get crazy. It's about to get. You just nuts. get water. Yeah, <laughs> and a chair. Literally, you get That's your little. You get crazy. your dressing room as soon as you leave out. I heard as soon as you done. You gotta walk. You gotta. Yeah, man. They give me ten minutes. I gotta finish my show. I came back to my dressing room. It was like, yeah, time to pack it up. I'm like, shit. no fucking way. Not nah, for real. That's fine. Like, you can still be there. She can still roam around. You feel me? No, but you get out the room. But they yeah, got like the a room, VIP yeah. area. You gotta yeah. get out of there. That's like, fucking whack, dude. That's it was cool though. It was cool connecting with motherfuckers and shit. Right. I fucked with it. I went to. Um, I had a show in Utah. That was probably the biggest show I ever had. Was that crazy as fuck? People was fucking mosh pit and surf. Crowd surfing all type of shit. I love <laughs> different. I love different markets like that. It's so is crazy. that what you're saying? Utah is like probably one of the most like the more litter markets of yours. That was the best show I had so far. Wow, hundred percent. What is it? Salt Lake City or something? Yeah. Damn, they got some good sushi down there too. I ain't gonna shut the fuck up. It was dry. Like, can you hit the cap there. button? No, I went to the sushi spot <laughs> down there. I went to the sushi spot when I was He's down like, there. There's no ocean there. I know, but I lost my retainer in that bitch. I was getting drunk. I had a good time. I actually had a good time. I had a good time in Salt Lake. I ain't do shit in Salt Lake. Ain't that where Kobe got in trouble? Yes, it is. No. No, he got cut in Utah. Utah? I don't know. R.I.P. R.I.P. That's why I bring that up, man. I'm whack. I don't even think about that. I'm trash. (laughs) I was going to ask you, as far as destinations that you haven't performed, where have you not performed that you, like, want to? California. You haven't performed here? God, I was supposed to damn. go to the last rolling out, but they cut some of the list because of COVID. Oh God, they, they shrunk it. Yeah, that's bullshit. So yeah, Cali. Well, uh, yeah, you got to do that. That's I got to show in Milwaukee in uh, April. Damn, have you been out there before? Nope. I think it's supposed to be pretty cool, right? I mean, they got the Bucks. Yeah. I want to go to the DMV. Sure, I want to go yeah. everywhere. Everywhere That'd I fuck with me. I ain't performed in Atlanta either. Damn. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I think that might take the best 
Nah. The best spot after you do it. Nah. You don't think Atlanta's lit like that? Come on. Nah, now. he needs to do what like, was it the observatory? And like, oh, yeah. That, you Santa gotta, Ana. You got, you're Santa Ana. You it gotta gets very lit it, there. That shit. <laughs> It, it, like if you like coming up and you like get you your shit slapping you, you hit it in there the crowd will respond yeah you 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 <laughs> now nah, that's like some crowd surfing shit <laughs> niggas is going crazy yeah. like no, i'm yeah. definitely get some shit out here this year yeah so no that'll, that'll be, be amazing show. that's fucking crazy. definitely man people stop wearing masks man i went into the grocery store the other day nobody said shit to me i ain't even have a mask on so I'm it's back out it's shit. in the streets it's hard because i got like, my vaccine man don't say shit to me yeah don't. oh you got the you got the, that, yeah. There you go. See, Fats is prepared. I like that. That's Shit. smart, man. Fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck. Well, we're fucking excited for this drop, man. I appreciate you. Um, we're gonna make sure to promote this shit. Uh, if we want people to stay tapped in with you, is it like Instagram? Is that the best place? Instagram. Yeah, Instagram. I ain't gonna lie. I'd be on TikTok too. What's the TikTok? Um, underscore a little easy. With uh, spell the same way. Two Z's, two Z's, two Z's, two Y's. Sa- same way as Instagram? Mm-hmm. I think Instagram's three Y's, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Instagram three Y's, TikTok two. Okay, there you go. There so, you go. Them are the only two platforms I really be posting shit on, though. So be sure to fucking stay tapped in with Lil Easy on Instagram, fucking TikTok, run up the new video, Twitter run up the new shit. fucking song, tap in with all this shit. Um, thank you for tapping in with us. So Be sure to subscribe, hit the bell. Appreciate y'all. We're tapping out. A lot of you niggas be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was perfect. Too easy man. coming. <laughs>